Hey, welcome back to my studio. It is time that we speak about our problematic fave, Grimes. She carefully cultivated this starving artist image just for us to find out that she was rich the whole time. This is really petty that we dislike her and want to quote unquote cancel her because she's dating somebody that has money. I think this is a bigger issue of Grimes being just another rich woman that's pretending to be poor or using the aesthetics of the working class to her advantage and to hoard even more wealth. Come mourn Grimes with me. We had a fun five to eight years. As you probably already know, Grimes is a musician from Canada. She produces, writes, and often art directs all her music videos. And just like I have stopped enjoying Grimes and kind of got annoyed by her, a big portion of her following seems to be doing the same and you can really see so in the way that they interact with her on social media. Like many of you, the moment I stopped liking Grimes is the moment she started dating Elon Musk sometime around 2018, I believe. And while you might think that's petty, <laughs> I honestly want us to talk about this subject because are we being petty? When I personally heard about Grimes, the thing that made me really love her the most is that she presented herself as a DIY type of artist. She would do it all herself. She's very endearing from day one. You really have no other reason to dislike Grimes. Her music is amazing and she essentially began her career as kind of like a one woman project which is why i think we grew up to love grimes so much and of course very inspiring if you are an independent creator yourself i'll make sure to add videos to my description which do a really good job at retelling her story as we know it so far however everything came crashing down the day that we found out that she was dating elon musk I believe in 2018 at the Met Gala. And it's not just me that thinks this way. A lot of people have began to dislike Grimes and she has received a lot of backlash ever since she started dating Elon Musk. Most of the backlash really pertains to the fact that she dated Elon Musk while previously giving us this idea that she was a communist, a working class person, or so we thought, right? As recently as last week, I believe I saw Grimes' TikTok in which she was saying, I'm sure many of you guys have noticed the online narrative that I used to be an avowed communist and I have betrayed the comrades, as it were. And I wanted to kind of give some context on my sense of humor and my history with this stuff. Which honestly, right away, to most people that saw that TikTok, it really came across as gaslighting, especially the part where she says that the media has portrayed her as a communist, making us think that she never said those things or that we misunderstood her. And since we've seen a lot of like anti-communist behavior coming from her in the past few years, I guess I really just want us all to talk about this. And is this really petty that we dislike her and want to quote unquote cancel her because she's dating somebody that has money? Or does this go beyond that? And I would like to argue for the latter. This has very little to do with Grimes specifically dating Elon Musk. I think this is a bigger issue of Grimes being just another rich woman that's pretending to be poor or using the aesthetics of the working class to her advantage and to hoard even more wealth. From day one, I feel like Grimes has been selling herself as working class, as a DIY artist, somebody that went through hardship. For example, in an interview, she has stated that she lived in a crack house. Throughout the years, she has come out as non-binary. And while I guess you could be non-binary and conservative, she has never really done anything that showed herself to be a conservative person in terms of her political stances. She's always been for LGBTQ rights. Oh, and not to mention that for her yearbook quote, she has a quote from Stalin. And like, I guess for me, it was just the fact that she really always like drove down really hard on the fact that she is a DIY artist. She makes her own music. She pays for her own music. She was always spreading this narrative that like all these male producers come to her and she's like, 
I make my own music, I don't need your help, thank you so much. There's this whole narrative of Grimes always being a self-made woman. Even now that she's with Elon Musk, she does not use Elon's money. Oh, and not to mention that Grimes self-described herself as anti-imperialist on her Twitter bio and then quickly removed that label once she started dating Elon Musk. As the media run with this narrative that Grimes is a communist, I have to say no. Grimes fed us this narrative that she's a self-made woman, presented herself to basically appear to be a leftist, and then when we connected the dots, filled in the blanks, she never made any objection to that kind of label until she started dating Elon Musk and all of this came into question, right? How can I leftist be dating a billionaire or dating a billionaire and not trying to get him to help people in general, right? Because in the last year, especially in the last few months, all I've personally seen from Grimes is Grimes making a mockery out of everything that has to do with her and Elon Musk from using her TikTok to promote Bitcoin on behalf of Elon Musk because you can hear him yelling Bitcoin in the background at times to making ridiculous statements such as here's my proposition to the communists and it really boils down to like okay ai will help us even though her boyfriend the oppressor is gonna probably be the one that owns the ai grimes will often say in her comments in her tiktok especially but sometimes on her instagram that she feels she's being cancelled yes there have been plenty of times especially in the past year that the internet has turned against her and that she's been trending on twitter for some of the behavior that i just called out most notably the day that elon musk tweeted pronouns suck to which she counter with i know this is not your heart <laughs> how are you gonna defend non-binary people and then you're with a guy have a kid with a guy that says pronouns suck and it's been during these recent times where she's been upping almost her antagonism against this label of communist or leftist people have really begun to call her a class traitor and the more and more i think about all of this i feel like Grimes is not a class traitor. I think we all misunderstood who Grimes really is and have really barely begun to see who she really is as a person. And Grimes is a rich woman. She has always been a rich woman. So she's not a class traitor because she's acting on the benefit of the mega rich. So let me go back. So some of the things that really debunked Grimes' working class persona or maybe let me say self-made persona other than obviously dating Elon Musk because as much as she wants to say that she does not use Elon's money for her music it really benefits from his lifestyle and is often making her social media posts from a huge ass mansion and so you can say whatever you want to say about who's funding your music career but clearly you are benefiting from the billionaire lifestyle whether you like to admit it or not but like i said even putting that aside let's talk about what made us realize that crimes has never been a working class self-made woman now a few months ago i started seeing posts on social media talking about grimes being a landlord well it turns out and this has yet to be confirmed unless i'm able to find some kind of proof of people that have supposedly known her from the time of everything that was going on back then when she was in college. Did Grimes live in a crack house? Possibly, but it was also possibly her own house and she was the landlord. Another thing people have done is look into her family's history, which for the sake of privacy, I really do not want to do. But what we know from public information is that her parents are college professors and are very wealthy and she comes from a part of Montreal which has a lot of money so it all kind of lines up that's something that we knew about Grimes growing up she did ballet ballet is largely experienced by rich people so all these little things start to make sense and put Grimes in a new light and yes she might have done all the other outlandish things that she spoke about being homeless going onto the Mississippi River on a boat she made with her boyfriend but I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's really easy to do all these outlandish things when you have a rich family waiting for you at home. Let's think about this. A person that has no money, 
and their family cannot provide for them. You basically have to figure out how you survive. And if you want to be an artist at the same time, you have to figure out both of those things. How in the now can you eat, can you survive, and how in the long run can you make your art profitable, right? Well, obviously that's a lot easier if you don't have to worry about money. I honestly think the reason why we believe that Grimes was working class or a leftist is because she doubled down so hard on calling herself a self-made woman. She might not use those words, but she just always made it a point to emphasize that she has received no help from people outside her. And we honestly just didn't really know any more than what she was telling us. And this issue of rich people trying to cling to this self-made myth is so annoying, especially after the year that just passed. Not only are their most famous celebrities, influencers, whatever, creators, most people, as it turns out, got there because they're already rich or because their family's wealth allowed them to have connections, allowed them to have opportunities that other people don't have. And yet, time and time again, rich people love to tell you that they did it all themselves, they were self-made. It wasn't that little loan that their parents gave Zuckerberg, Bezos, Gates. It wasn't the fact that because they were rich, they had access to a lot more technology than other people did when it was expensive to have it, right? They were just self-made. They just made themselves rich with a great idea. And it's not true and it's so annoying because it gives people like you and me the wrong expectations of where you should be in life and where you can get to. And while I don't think it's impossible to rise from very little to a higher standing in society because we do have people like Oprah to prove, to prove us wrong, it is possible, it's not the normal, unfortunately. I don't only think it's unfair, in the year 2021, when the wealth inequality is the highest that we have ever seen in the history of people as we know it, as we know of ourselves, humanity, how are you gonna come and tell me that rich people still have the nerve to insinuate that they just worked really hard and it wasn't the fact that they were rich? that help them get to where they are and this is why i think we are coming down so hard on grimes because she's so out of touch to not only be dating like elon musk is like gross and i think it's really hilarious that people have begun to tell her online that it really disappoints them that she's not even using elon for his money because it's true there's nothing redeemable redeeming redeemable redeeming there is nothing about Elon Musk, and I don't care how many Elon simps leave me comments in this video. There is nothing redeemable about Elon Musk the person. There is nothing likable. Nothing. Nothing! But Grimes is so out of touch for till this day. When she's dating a billionaire, we know her parents are millionaires, wealthy, she herself is obviously a millionaire. I mean, the past year alone, Grimes sold her NFTs for like $6 million. Obviously, Grimes herself is a millionaire by now. I would hope so. I mean, if not, she should get yeah, probably better financial advisors. How are you still gonna be trying to convince me that you made yourself from nothing? Clearly, you were born a rich woman and you know that no one's gonna find that appealing. And instead of just owning up to yes you're a rich woman but you've also learned to do this yourself learn to become a producer a musician an artist you know stop clinging to this idea that you're a self-made woman because you're not i just think that during this time of wealth inequality it is just disgusting the fact that grimes is still trying to sell herself as a self-made woman who doesn't happen to be surrounded by extremely mega wealthy people left and right and that she's gonna somehow just not be benefiting from that in any way, shape, or form. I really don't care who pays for her music. Just the fact that she is trying to gaslight us to our own faces, it pisses me off. 
and I don't think it's petty. I think it, it is like she's having her own Marie Antoinette moment. However, sadly, Grimes is not the only rich woman trying to peddle this idea that they had no help from all the wealthy people around them. Just earlier this month, I saw an article that was like, oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys have ever looked at this website called Man Repeller. I always get it wrong. Leandra Medine. She came out on a podcast after getting canceled in 2020 for what were considered nepotism and and really just lack of diversity at the workplace at her own man repeller brand website so she came out with this podcast episode with someone else and basically explaining that she despite growing in the upper east side of new york with the wealthiest people of the world she just didn't realize she had privilege and i'm just like the saddest most frustrating part of all of this is that this isn't even the second time that we hear this i feel like this has been a recurring theme for the past few years that rich people are so out of touch have never really seen what poverty looks like that they feel poor because they can't afford you know the hugest mansion that the one billionaire they might know has. It seems to me that rich people are always looking at the richer people and saying, Oh God, I'm so poor. Look at what they have. And I'm just like, why? Like, this is so frustrating. Like, how can this happen again and again and again and again? And I finally got my answer if when I was doing my Marx and Chill series, if you saw that with me. Under capitalism, the rich also live in scarcity mode and so let me explain capitalism is always trying to get you to consume 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 right and because a capitalist system is exploitative by nature like nobody really is feeling good mentally and capitalism does not take care of your mental health and so what do people start to do people start to use consumption right as a way to feel better about themselves like for working class people or poor people is really easy you basically you get to have fun or you get to survive, right? Like you are gonna spend your 20, last $20 that month on food or you could go see a movie. And it's really like that easy of a choice for most people that are not rich. Now for rich people, what happens is, of course, if they have any good financial advisors, most people are not gonna have their millions and billions in a bank account, right? They're gonna have to invest their money in assets, real estate, stocks, invested in their businesses. So just because somebody is a millionaire or a billionaire, their bank account is not necessarily gonna reflect that. It's gonna be reflected in their whole assets, right? What they own entirely around the world. So what happens to rich people is that they consume, 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 and they quickly come to this realization of, well, I'm either gonna have to work more for more money or I'm gonna have to sell my assets. And so of course the rich is gonna say, well, I'm gonna work more. And so here comes the rich people of the world now also living in what could be considered a scarcity mode. They also need to constantly be making more and more and more money to outdo the rate at which their consumption is you know depleting their wealth but obviously they're also having to constantly work 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 so that they don't ever go down in class because obviously if you spend all your money that's what happens you're gonna not be rich anymore the rich is constantly also feeling like they don't have enough i think that's why we see people so desperately invested in just making more 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 money because they will never be enough and I feel like that's probably the mentality that has plagued Grimes her entire career is I am not that rich rather than I'm a working class woman and we as the viewer just didn't have enough information to actually be able to separate the two and she didn't offer anything up to the contrary of the idea that we had that she was a communist or at the very minimum, you know, just a leftist leaning type person. And now that she's with Elon Musk, well, she's definitely not as wealthy as Elon Musk. And while I do think that for some people, it is simply a matter of just literally living your wealthy ass neighborhood and seeing what poverty looks like for 
people that actually have problems i also think this scenario of rich people trying to adopt working class aesthetics is just really another sign that capitalism does not work because how can a rich person in a capitalist system be feeling like they don't have enough how it makes no sense and while i do think that there is a part of human in nature that we're always comparing ourselves to other people and we want what others have i don't think it's normal to just always be thinking that you're poor because you're not mega rich i think it is something within capitalism that is fucking up rich people to constantly be thinking that they're gonna lose their money that they don't have enough that these other people are richer than they are and that's where they want to go that's what they want to be i think it's like a disease i mean it's like literally we put people in psychiatric help when they are a hoarder of material things why don't we do that with billionaires and rich people The last thing I want to say is, does Grimes deserve to be cancelled or be getting backlash online? And I kind of feel conflicted about this because on the one hand, it's not like she's Michael Jackson and she was, you know, you know what, you know. You tell me a single adult person that you know right now that spends their free time with children. And if you do know a person like that, run away. But anyways, so while Grimes is not all the way down at the Michael Jackson level of like alert, abort mission not only has she lost her likability and her relatability but she's almost like actively antagonizing us gaslighting us now and because she has been the person to deliver her own story her own narrative consistently from at least for me from 2013 till now like i said she didn't give a complete story but her story her little drops the little hints she's dropped through her career led us to believe that she is a leftist self-made woman that's why i think it's kind of become our business because this is the base on which you sold yourself and to now be telling us that we misunderstood you no we didn't you might have misunderstood yourself or you might have changed and, and that's the other big thing it's like if grimes just came out and said you know when i said that thing about stalin i was like 17 like what did i know nothing i've changed my mind since then i'm okay with capitalism i think people would just like feel better about the whole thing but because she refuses to acknowledge the role that she played herself in selling herself as somebody who was leftist and then we the dummies like ran with that narrative all i have to say to grimes is this i was rooting for you we were all rooting for you how dare you learn something from this i think it's especially distasteful now for grimes to be going on social media and make this big deal about how she has to post on social media for her record label and that her record label will not be releasing her songs until the song gets 20 million streams on TikTok. I mean, you live with a billionaire. Can you please just grab a hold of reality and understand that we do not care. You have a kid with a billionaire. How are you then going to tell your audience that you need more from them so you can have more money? Don't come crying to us peasants about your money or the lack of your money or whatever you got going on with your label because you wanted more money can you be any more tone deaf like in 2021 after we went through a whole pandemic can't tell by now this one really hurts you guys because i used to really love her music look up to her but she just turned out to be another out of touch rich bitch and i just can't really deal with it anymore like i said i have not heard grimes music I think it's totally up to you if you don't listen to her music anymore or if you do. She's just doing such a good job at her own Marie Antoinette impersonation in her own life that she's just not likable right now. And it fucking sucks when one of your favorite artists all of a sudden reveals themselves to be different than what you assumed of them, especially when they themselves introduce themselves to be perceived as someone who was totally different than who they actually are and on the topic of setting the art apart from the artist i feel like 
there's no such thing. The artist is their art. When you support somebody's art, you support the artist. It's really up to you if you want to give any more of your attention, your monetary support to an artist like Grimes. You are enabling them. And like I said, in the case of Grimes, it might be a more superficial thing. Like it's more of a distasteful thing. Like, like I said, I don't think that she's a class traitor because she's rich. So she really isn't betraying her class. She just was, she carefully cultivated this starving artist image just for us to find out that she was rich the whole time. So like I said, I feel like on the level of offenses, it's low just because it's not even a criminal activity. As of now, I really feel not very good about Grimes and I have not listened to her music in a long time for that reason. It's for you to think about if you do want to support her or not going forward. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you still are subscribed, if you'd like to continue talking about world domination, leave me your thoughts in the comment on this video. Thank you and I'll see you on the next one.